In today's video, we are going to be talking again about functions and graphs. And today we're going to be looking at another type of function and we're going to be looking at the graph of this function. And this function is called an exponential function. Now, you might have heard people talk about exponential functions before, or if someone said that a value is growing exponentially, you might have heard of it when people were talking about statistics or graphs. Um, it's used a lot in medical cases. People might say the growth of a disease is growing exponentially or um, the population is growing exponentially. Well, what do we mean by this? Well, we say a function of the form now the form is very important here because the form is simply going to be the function of a value a to the power of x. So this time instead of the function having x in the base of the function, for example x minus 3 or x squared minus 4 or square root of x, this time x is the power in our function. So we have a to the power of x, and it's important to say what a is. So we'll say that a and x are both real numbers. Now we talked about this notation at the start of the topic when we talked about sets. And we also want to state that a is greater than zero. This will become apparent why later on. We say that this function of this form is known as an exponential function and we say that it is to the base a so instead of x being the base x is the power and this time a is the base where a is some real number that is strictly greater than zero so in this case, we'll just quickly write that we refer to x in, in this case. So in our exponential functions, we refer to x as the power, which you might also see people call an index when we talked about indices or even the exponent. And that's where this word exponential comes from because x is the exponent of this function. Now there's a few key things we need to notice. The first thing we want to notice is that when x is equal to zero, our function f of x is simply going to give us a to the power of zero. And what's anything to the power of zero? Well, anything to the power of zero is just going to give us one. And you can actually test this in your calculator by trying multiple values of a. So you can let a be, say, five. You can let it be um, seven. You can let it be a decimal value. You can let it be anything. And it should give you one as the resulting output. Another thing we want to notice is that when x equals 1, our exponential function will become a to the power of 1, and anything to the power of 1 is simply just a. So these are two key things we need to note about exponential functions when the exponent x is the term or the value zero or one. So they're two key numbers. The x, when it is one of them, will give us a particular value for our exponential function. Now, because of these two facts here, we want to say that hence, the graph of an exponential function Uh, we'll just drop the word function. It's fine to say the, the graph of an exponential always passes through a 
zero one and one a and this is because when x is zero so when this is the x coordinate when x is zero a to the zero will simply give us one because anything to the power of zero is one whereas when x is one we get a to the power of one which simply gives us a so the graph of an exponential function will always pass through the points 0, 1, and 1a. So to visualize this with a couple examples, if we have a function or a, a, an equation y equals a to the power of x, so the standard exponential function, we know that it passes through the point 0, 1, which is right here, and 1a. Now this is depending on what a actually is. And we can see over in this example here, now this is when a is greater than one. So whenever a is greater than one, the exponential will look like this. But in this example, if a is between zero and one, the function will look like this. The graph of the function should look like this. So let's do a little example here. Now in this example, this is the sort of example you might get about exponential functions and it asks us to sketch the curve with the equation y equals six to the x. Now we immediately notice that this is an exponential function because in this case, our x is an exponent. It's a power in the function. So what do we know about the exponential function? Well, in this case, we know that the curve passes through the points. Now the first point we said it passes through was 0, 1 and this is because when x is 0 we'll get 6 to the power of 0 which is simply just 1 so we know it passes through 0, 1 and the second point we said it passes through is 1a and this is because whenever x is 1 we will get the value a. But in our case, we don't have an a. Our a is 6. So when x is 1 in our case, we'll get 6 to the power of 1, which is simply just 6. So we'll get that the curve passes through the point 0, 1 and 1, 6. And when we talked about what functions uh, the exponential function looks like for a greater than 1, we said that it looks something like this. Whereas when we said that a is between 0 and 1, we said it looks something like this. So in our case, we know that we're, our, our graph is going to look something like this. And we know it passes through 0, 1. So let's just say that that's the point here. And it's important to write that we know this point. We don't need to write 0, 1 because it's obvious that x is 0. So we'll just write 1. And we also said it passes through the point 1, 6, which is going to look something like, let's say, um, let's say this. I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as you state that it is the point 1, 6. And this time we're putting a 1 because it's not clear exactly where it's going to be. And then we just connect the dots and make sure it looks something like this. So our exponential function there, because it's exponential, it grows exponentially. So it keeps going up. And this side, we want to show that it keeps going down to the left. And this here is our exponential function. I'm also just going to write zero in there just so they know. So this is our graph of the curve y equals six to the power of x.